guys, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am out and about shopping. I had to get out of the house. It is my kind of mom's morning out. Every week my, my grandma, my mother-in-law takes the boys and then I get to run errands or do whatever I need to get done. So just drop them off. I'm actually sitting outside of Target, which is usually where I go first on those days, just because it's one of the only places that's open. Um, I really want to go thrifting this morning, but they don't open till nine. So I have about a half hour to kill, which is perfect. I actually need to return an Easter dress that we picked up for Macy. It, she just, it didn't wow her when she tried it on. And I think that's part of the fun of Easter dresses to be really excited about your dress that you're wearing. So I'm gonna pick her up something different if I can find something in her size. So I'm gonna exchange that dress, maybe do a little last minute Easter shopping, if you know what I mean. And then hopefully by that time, it'll be time to go thrifting. So let's head into Target. So that's new, buy three, get one free in Bullseye's Playground. They still have a lot of Easter. I wonder if they're just trying to get rid of it all. I haven't seen these before. Color sorting game. Those are fun. I'm doing pretty good. I'll probably just show you everything when I get home. What I can anyways. Ooh, better check out clearance. I've been strongly considering switching our dining or kitchen table chairs to these, to the more like farmhouse style. I mean, not these specifically, ones on Amazon probably, but let me know if you have these. I know they probably aren't the most comfortable thing, but I feel like they would be so cute. The sun is not my friend today. <laughs> it's nice to have it, but like all the wrong angles. But anyways, done with Target. We are now at Goodwill to do some thrifting. I'm not really looking for anything in particular. Just kind of browsing to see what I can find. It's actually been a while since I've been thrifting, so I'm just really excited to go in. these though. Can't even see in there, but there's some plates, bowls, big bowls, mug. I couldn't resist trying this on. How cozy and soft does that look? In his pockets. This would be perfect for like winter. Not right now, but oh, I think it's kind of cute. It's exhilaration, so it's just Target, but I think it'd be great to keep me warm. Oh, I kind of love it. My hair is crazy from trying things on, but I grabbed this tank top. I think it's just too, almost too flowy at the bottom. If it was like, maybe like that, I would like it better. Otherwise, I love this, but mm, I was hoping it was a winner for Vegas, but I don't think so. I am back home now. I actually did not pick up the twins. I'm going to pick them up in about 45 minutes. So they're still at my mother-in-law's house and Madden's still at school. So I have the house to myself, which is always such a weird feeling. Like it never happens that I'm the only one here. It's so quiet, well, except for Bailey barking and things like that. But anyways, I got all the stuff brought in. I thought I would show you what I picked up at Goodwill and the things I can show you at Target. And then there's a few things that I need to actually put away. I did stop at Hobby Lobby as well. I needed to return something and I did pick up a couple of things, but I'm actually gonna do a separate video for like farmhouse decor, like a big haul. Not really big, but it's a haul because I've been doing some shopping for our bathroom that I'm working on finishing up to. So I don't know the timing of it all, but I think the farmhouse decor haul will come after this one. So you can be on the lookout for that. But I think I'll show you what I picked up from Goodwill and Target really quick. Not a lot I can show you from Target, but you'll probably see a lot of it in our Easter vlog that will be coming up in a, probably a week or so, I'd say. But I picked up these little plastic baskets for the twins for our Easter egg hunt on Saturday that we do every single year. Macy and Madden already have plastic ones and they go on like a big Easter egg hunt outdoors. So I didn't want them lugging around their really nice Pottery Barn Kids ones. So for a dollar, I just grabbed one of each of those. I could have got Macy and Madden one, so they all matched, but I didn't because it's just for a, a quick little hunt and they don't really care. So just got two and then I picked up a few things. I want to bring this to Vegas. Um, the True Match Lumi Glow Nude. I think these are new. It said new to Target anyways, but I love anything that's like glow palette. I don't know, shimmery. So I thought this would be fun to wear there. 
just some fun highlighters. I think that was like $11, so I don't know. We'll try it out and see. I don't buy a lot of makeup. And then I picked up some of these to bring to Vegas as well. I'm leaving in one week, so got some of those. These are my favorite like faux lashes that I use, so wanted to grab some of those to wear. And then I got the kiddos a couple of Easter outfit things. So I brought the dress back from Macy and picked her out this one. I think she'll like this one a little bit better because it has the flippy sequins. It's not like super Eastery, but it is really springy and I think she will like it and it was on sale this week. So if she doesn't like this one, she's gonna have to wear something that's already in her closet. But it has the really pretty butterfly and then like the tulle like skirt part. I don't know, I just think it's so adorable. And I think she could wear this really all summer. And then the twins, I got these for Easter. I was looking for chambray shirts. Shirts that they can wear not only in the spring, but also the fall. So these were perfect. There was a 20% off cartwheel. So I got, they're both from the art class brand. And then they had two in size 3T, which is amazing. It never happens that way. So it was meant to be. Oh, hi. So that they will wear for Easter, probably with a little tie and some khakis. I don't go all out for their Easter outfits, but I do want them to look really cute. So got that, and Madden actually already has a chambray shirt from last year. He's gonna wear again this year with a tie. So the boys will kind of match, and then Macy as well. Did you think I said treat or something? I did not, Bailey, I'm so. All right, because I'm a sucker. I feel like I lucked out at Goodwill this time. I was not, I just was briefly looking through the dresses and I came across a Burberry dress. And this feels authentic, like it does not feel like it's a knockoff at all. Like it feels super nice. So I found this, it's a size four, no, US two. So it's definitely not gonna fit me, but I picked it up with hopes of selling it on eBay. I think I can probably get at least $100 for it. So I picked up this Burberry dress. That's a major, major score. I'm excited about this. I just need to, you know, clean it up a little bit and then I will sell that on eBay. So that was super exciting. I kind of wish I was a size two because that would be a fun thing to have in my closet. So I'll just clean it up and get it listed. I found Macy these little, and I think that was $4.75. And then for Macy, I found these little athletic shorts for T-ball this year. She's also going to be in volleyball camp. So all sorts of different athletic activities that she could use these for. So grab those for like $2.50, I think is what they were. They're just no boundaries, Walmart brand, but they work for two bucks. And then I found this, this was kind of awesome. So this is an American Eagle. I actually bought one of these in the fall. It's a cream color. And this one is actually new with tags. Oh my goodness, $34.95 is the original price. It's a really pretty olive green color. Cannot beat it um, for $4.50. So I'm really excited about this. I'm actually gonna stash this in my closet for the fall just because I don't really need to wear it right now. It's a long sleeve thermal, but I love my cream one. So I'm excited to find a green one. New with tags at Goodwill. And then I did go ahead and pick up the Sherpa little like hoodie cardigan. I don't even know what you would call this, but it's exhilaration from Target. Super cozy, oh my goodness. I may wear this later today just around the house or even outside. I don't, I eh, better not outside. I'd probably get it dirty with the kids. And I wasn't actually going to buy this, but I texted my mom and she's like, no, pick it up because she also collects Fiesta wear. It's just too good of a deal to pass off. You just can't leave it behind when you collect it like we do. So she's like, go ahead, grab it. I'll pay you for it or whatever. So I just wanted to pull it out and see what it all was and look at it. So for $15, this is an amazing deal. <laughs> this is an incredible value for sure. So definitely a major score. But the silverware is not Fiesta. I don't know, it may be like a Target or Walmart brand. It's just like basic silverware, but we'll see, maybe she'll want that. But the rest of this is amazing. So this is all in the turquoise color, which is a really, really pretty color. And it came with, if you're a Fiesta collector, I know I have a few of you that follow me. These are the Gusto bowls, which I think I'm gonna steal one of these because I don't have one in this color. We have the coffee mugs. I do not need any more of those. These are the dinner plates. Got four of those. These are the salad plates. These are basically the four piece sets. And then four cereal bowls, all in turquoise, all in great, 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 like amazing condition. So that's an awesome find for $15 for sure. 
I'm gonna clean all this stuff up and then it's gonna be time to go pick up the boys. My husband's picking up Madden from school, so that's one last thing on my plate, but still got a lot to do. I came up here again to show you my cozy outfit. <laughs> Try to put this back on just for a little bit, but I am getting hot. Like, this is definitely gonna have to be a middle of the winter. Like, I needed this last week during the blizzard. Like, come on. Anyways, I love this. It's like brand new. So I'm excited about this Sherpa find. But I was also going to share you with you my tea. I just got these in my P.O. box the other day. It says motherhood is my superpower. Isn't that the truth? So these are from, this one is from Thread Tank. I actually got another one too. They are super cute tees. I've talked about them before on my channel. But they have so many fun graphic tees. But these are part of their Mother's Day collection. I also got this tea from Thread Tank. I love it so much. Mom fuel. Come on, yes, yes. I actually was considering going and making a cup right now to just enjoy the peace and quiet right now. But it's in like the charcoal gray. I get size medium just because I don't like um like super form fitting. You guys know me, right? But I think these teas would be like a great little gift for Mother's Day if you're looking for some ideas. They have all kinds of teas. I do have a discount code, so I will leave it in the description box. It's Crystal15. It saves you 15% off your order. But yeah, I love this color and I love that color. They have so many different options. I mean, wine, coffee, Jesus, animal stuff, state specific, you name it, it's on their website. It's so, so cute. I've had such good luck with their teas that they have sent me so far. So yeah, I'm just loving this outfit. And then I'm also wearing my American Eagle jeans that I just showed in my haul. So we're living it up today. And my mom wear, they like their baskets. Are you guys ready for a big egg hunt? Yeah. Yeah? Oh my goodness, you're gonna have so much fun if they survive until then. The baskets, that is. Whenever they go to grandma's, like she wears them out. They play, they do lots of learning, they do arts and crafts. She's so wonderful with them. So they yeah. are super tired. Yeah. Whoa. You're killing me. I think I talked about this when we were installing it a little bit. Oh my goodness, I need to wipe it down. That's why we don't have a white door. <laughs> but the board is warped a little bit. I don't know if you can see, but it's not straight. This side bows out more than that side quite a bit. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell. So we had that one custom built and they actually tried to fix the warping. It's a lot better than it was. It really, really bowed out really bad to the point where we could not live with it. So they fixed it a little bit, but it's still pretty bad. So I think we're gonna actually have to get a whole new door. And I think we're gonna get one that's like already built, like not like handmade or whatever. What do they call that? What did he call it? Factory made door? I'm not sure. So that door might be changing. I don't know when or yeah. I don't know what it's gonna look like. He's just giving us a couple of quotes. It's unfortunate though. So. I don't know if he's gonna give us a deal on the new one since this one is warped. We'll have to see, but it does sound like we're gonna have to pay for something, which is a bummer. Other than that though, we're loving the barn door for the pantry. Still trying to figure out what paint color I wanna do out here. What you doing, bud? Helping fixing my book. Mm. Oh. Are you excited for Easter? Yeah. Super excited. We actually went and saw the Easter bunny on Saturday. I think it was Saturday, yeah, it was Saturday. And I thought Ethan was gonna be the one that was scared and not wanting to have anything to do with it, but it was Andrew, do you see that? He wouldn't even lift up his head. He just looked down, <laughs> I'm like, what? I guess we'll use that one. So it could have been worse. I mean, he could have been screaming. That would have actually been funnier, but Whoa. yeah. There's our Easter picture. The kids are in bed. Tuesdays have become my kind of mental health day, I will say. I don't post videos on Wednesday, so I don't have to work during nap time on videos or computer stuff or anything like that. So what I've been doing is I have been coming up here, laying in bed, and watching, just binge watching Blue Bloods, basically. I'm still on season four, so I have a long ways to go, but I'm going to do this for the next couple of hours while I wait for the boys to wake up. Ice cream. Cheek bread. Right. Yeah, good job. Yes, we're just waiting for Boo Boo to wake up. I enjoyed my relaxing time. 
Oh my goodness. You gotta show your book that's falling apart. What do you say? Uh, say, hello. 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 No. <laughs> I just opened this Amazon package thinking I was gonna get the bathroom floors done tomorrow. But I got the wrong ones. They sent me the wrong pattern. So I had ordered two packages. They sent me one yesterday, which was the right one. And then this one today is sadly not the right pattern. So I have to put in a return to hopefully get the new one sent to me. I am almost done with the bathroom though. So the floors are pretty much done. I needed one last box to finish inside the closet. And then there's a few tiles that I actually want to go back and replace because I didn't do the best job like I feel like I can do better if I have extra tiles so I I can still do the tour without it so I'm probably just gonna go ahead because it said the new box would be here till April 30th which is kind of a long ways out so I have new vanity mirrors coming tomorrow I'm gonna film my haul tomorrow I'm gonna decorate and hopefully record the final bathroom tour by Friday, which I think you'll probably end up seeing this on, or seeing the actual tour on either Monday or Tuesday of next week. But anyways, it's coming along. It's looking so much better every single day. One of the projects I'm working on for the bathroom is some hooks. I took down the tar towel bar, I cannot talk, sorry. But I just picked up this wood. I was looking online for one and I'm like, you know what, I think I can make it cheaper. So I went on Amazon and found the hooks. So I think you, I don't even remember. It was very inexpensive, $12 I think for like 10 hooks or something like that, these little farmhouse hooks. And I'm going to make my own. This piece of wood was like 90 cents I think. So I'm gonna stain it while we're outside today. We'll just let it dry quite overnight since it's so nice out we can finally paint stuff out in the garage. But I cannot decide if I wanna do two or if I would rather do three. But the ones I had seen, I know Hobby Lobby has one because I have one in the twins room that I bought from there. But they have four and I was thinking I wanna do three. So then we could each have a place to hang like towels and then maybe one will be for ropes. I don't know, but I'm gonna stain the wood. At least today I don't need to decide how long it's gonna be. I can at least get it stained so it's ready to be hung within the next few days as well. So we'll work on that, but I'm gonna use this you can tell I've used it for many projects. This is actually what I used in our mudroom on the bench. So I'm just gonna use the same thing, stuff that I already had on hand. There's oh, eggs hiding yep. and there's three more eggs. Uh, yeah, there's three more eggs. There is yellow and green. Oh my goodness, we're practicing for Saturday. We gotta hustle. We gotta get them to move fast. Oh, of course. Of course. You can go fast out here. There's another one hiding. Can you find it? Let's see. Andrew, find an egg. Where's the who's blue basket, Macy? Uh, the blue basket. We got a green one and a blue one. I got them each one today. I know, but just use that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. The plastic ones are okay if they get wet. Andrew is done. He's not doing any more eggs. Yep, hide blue egg. Ah. Maybe. Here's the egg, Ethan, to hide. Okay, go hide it. Oh, you're hiding lots of them there. Wow. It is gorgeous out. What's it say? 57. All right, Andrew, we gotta hustle. Get as many eggs as you can. Go fast. Tonight for dinner, I'm making spaghetti, which is like my favorite thing ever to have, but no one else in the family appreciates it. <laughs> they all like, no, not spaghetti again. But I'm gonna make a huge batch, I think, of spaghetti, just the noodles, try to use up most of this box. Um, I picked these breadsticks over the weekend when I needed to get out quick and grab a few essentials. And I thought, you know, breadsticks are a necessity. So I got these. I'm going to make those. There's the pasta sauce. And I'm actually going to try it with ground turkey this time. Usually I'll use ground beef. But this is all we had in the freezer. So we're going to try it with this. I imagine it'll probably taste the same since it'll be in the sauce. So I'm going to get started on dinner right now. And my husband should be home anytime. Are you ready for bath? Let's go. Let's go. 
go, bath time! Bath time! I just put on my pajamas because I gotta be comfortable when I give all the kids baths because it's absolutely a madhouse. And it's like, you just, you need to be like able to move fast and get things done. So I thought if you are still watching this vlog, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. But I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of the floors. I'm just, I'm happy with how it is all coming together. Once I get it all decorated and the mirrors up, I'm just really excited to see it. So, if you are still watching, I will give you a sneak peek. But I wanna thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to thumbs up. Let me know on those farmhouse chairs and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Here's my child. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the floors. Oh my goodness, it's gonna look so good once it's decorated.